Ah, oh, what a gorgeous day here at the estuary of BC's longest river, the Fraser River, one of the most ecologically critical areas in all of Cascadia that's home to hundreds of at-risk species, as well as the biggest mass construction project that you've probably never heard of. The Roberts Bank Terminal 2 project has been riddled with technical language and nuance that has mostly kept the public in the dark as this developed, despite dozens of red flags. See, RBT2 is a proposed second deep water terminal jutting out from the end of this one here that would increase shipping import capacity twofold. Yet, is that even necessary? Justification for this project is based on incredibly unrealistic projections that would require significant and constant growth of imports and exports over the next 10 years in order to reach that capacity, failing to take into consideration factors like recession or changes in the global marketplace as a result of carbon regulation. Regulations. The project also offers very minimal job creation while sending the majority of these imports directly onto the United States where more rigorous regulations on these types of terminals has led developers to take advantage of looser regulations up north in Canada. Now, the government's own reviews for the project clearly show that the impacts would be severely damaging to juvenile and spawning salmon populations, including threatened Chinook salmon, as well as heavily impacting endangered southern resident killer whales, various shorebirds, and a host of other aquatic life, which not only threatens food sovereignty for the local Twas and First Nation, but would be in direct violation of Canada's recently established biodiversity objectives. Despite outspoken opposition from port employees, environmentalists, and members of the Twas and First Nation, this project is nearing approval and everyone's voice is needed at this point. So, sign the petition, the link in our bio, to help keep this project from going any further to help keep these critical ecosystems and our futures intact.